I guess you can see that okay. There's a little bit of a light from coming in from the window and I tried to fix that, but uh, that's, I think you'd still be able to see it. I don't have a whole lot of time to get this done. Mommy's out and about and I wanted to try to get this done before she got back. The first thing I'm going to do is take this cover plate off. At first glance, you might have thought, oh, just swap the two switches around. You don't even, why do you have to take the middle electrical outlet? Why do you have to unscrew it from the wall? I have to do that because all the wires are back behind there. Okay. So they use long screws here and they use sheetrock screws, I can see. Really super long, it goes into the box. I believe, oh, they're not that, well, they're about two inches long, see? And usually, obviously, you don't have screws like that. You usually have different screws. The sheetrock screws will still fit in the boxes, and they did that because, remember I said the backsplash was probably three quarters of an inch thick? It might even be a little bit thicker than that. I know all the power is off on here, but I'm still going to be kind of as careful as I can. And you know what? I could take a, uh, man, I should have taken a felt tip pin. I'm just going to dab it right about where, the, where these were before so that my cover plate will fit on there. And I can, I can adjust it, you know, whichever way. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't really have to do that. Okay. Am I a licensed electrician? No. But you don't have to be either. Oh, we're not adding a circuit to the panel or doing anything like that all we're doing is simply moving these things around we've got the power all off to these right okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna gently pull this out of the wall this one here maybe I don't have to pull out as far this one here I'm gonna pull that out like that, pull this one out. Let's get you in there a little bit closer. We'll take the zoom off of it. Now see, we've got two black wires to this light switch and there's a wire nut right there. And see, usually, if, if you've watched my videos before, usually you'll notice that the wires that come out are about six inches long or so. And see, if I were to pull these straight, this is going to be up quite a bit further. Now see, this one here happens to have a red on there and a black. It's not white. It's just spray. It's just paint or primer that they put on the walls or whatever. Lots of times they get it all in the box. See, everything looks white in there, a little bit of black over here. And you're like, how... What's the deal here? That's just because when they did the uh, rough wiring, they put that in there and then they did the paint and they put primer on before they, they did anything for this, uh, for this countertop and the, and the backsplash and stuff. And they just got paint in there, okay? And so there should be enough wire. If I pull this straight out, there should be enough wire for me to take the wire and kind of zigzag it back in here and come out. Should be enough wire in this to zigzag across over there and come back out. And interestingly enough, as I pulled on this, you see this, you see this wire right here? This one that goes up into the back of this switch? Look how it's moving. See? Right there. It shouldn't be moving like that. That's because it's loose. And I'm glad I'm checking that. I may, I may not be able to use that. I might have to take that and wrap it around this this uh, this screw instead. You can wrap them around the screws or you can poke them into the back. 
See, there's there'll be little holes with a little grabber thing in there. You push your wire in there, and then it holds. But this one, this one here, seems to be just ever so slightly loose. Okay, so first things first, what to do at this point? You know what I'm going to do. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And what are you, what am I going to talk about next time? What am I going to show you next time? Well, you'll just have to keep watching my videos to find out.